our judiciary system is so aggressive. Mm -hmm. And so there is always tension between the citizens and the law enforcement machinery mm -hmm. of the whole nation. Mm -hmm. There is always aggression. And that aggression does not help the state no. to maintain law and order. No. no. It is actually an impediment. It's an impediment. Mm -hmm. And it is because our system is adversarial and aggressive. Mm. Yes. It is not God who designed such a system. Mm. And that's a weakness. Yes. All right. Perhaps others will say, but what does the scripture say? Let's, let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6. I would like to see if our people are here with me. Um, I, I don't want to be alone today. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> Pastor, could you read First Corinthians chapter 6 from verse number 1? Day any of you having a matter against another, yes. go to law before the unjust. Why are you going to the court? Mm -hmm. Why are you going to the police? This is a very, very important scripture. Yes. <laughs> As you are going to realize today, I said I wanted to give this message another title, mm -hmm. which is sub yeah. This is also one of the reasons why mm -hmm. I wanted to do that. Yes. Before the unjust. Mm -hmm. And what? <laughs> And not before the saints. And not before the saints. Mm. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? According to verse number one, mm -hmm. the apostle of God, yes. at least the one that you have no questions with, mm -hmm. yes. the one that is in the Bible, yes. mm -hmm. you still question me mm -hmm. whether I'm a true apostle of God or, or not. not. Let's look at the one. Mm -hmm. whom you have no doubt about. Mm. Paul, yes. who is in the Bible. Yes. He introduces a matter with a very, very dismissive tone. Mm -hmm. He says, never, never, never at all, mm. never go to court. Yes. Never try to go to court mm. with each other mm. in the church. Yes. Never. Mm -hmm. If Pastor Irene wrongs me, mm -hmm. I should never go to God. Mm -hmm. And there is one reason cited by Paul. Mm -hmm. The courts mm -hmm. are presided over by unjust mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. who are applying an unjust mm -hmm. law yes. over an unjust system. Yes. Yes. The whole system is unjust. Mm -hmm. The Criminal Law Codification and Reform Act was crafted by an unjust parliament. Mm. The constitution of Zimbabwe, yes. an unjust parliament. parliament. Mm. The president who assented it into an act was exactly. an unjust yes. president. Mm -hmm. The laws and the issues that are ventilated in these legislations, yes. they are mastered and designed and debated and discussed with a basis, a foundation of godless people. Yes. Mm. They have no clue about the, the way of God. Mm. Mm. You are a believer. You are learning the law of God, yes. Yes. which is superior to the law of the land. Amen. Mm -hmm. How can you leave the house of God mm. and go to the magistrate's court hey. and go to the high court? Hey. Why, Paul, should we not go to court? He says, it's because the courts are manned by unjust, unjust people, people. Mm. who are applying an unjust law. Yes. Verse number two. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? Are you not aware that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Mm. Are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not uh, that we shall judge angels? Mm. How much more things that pertain to this life? All right, continue. If then you have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. Mm. 
I speak to your shame. I speak to your shame. Now, this is the most important part. Mm -hmm. Anyone who goes to court against a brother mm -hmm. is a shameless man, oh, yes. a shameless woman mm -hmm. in the house of God. Yes. And I know somebody is going to say, what if this brother mm -hmm. does not behave as a brother, even mm -hmm. though he is a brother? What can I do to get my money back? Mm. What can I do to get my car back? Oh, yes. What can I do to get my house back? Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Verse number six. But brother goes to law with a brother. Brother is going to law with a brother. And that before the unbelievers. He goes back to <laughs> verse one. <laughs> huh? Yes. Before yes. unbelievers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kwa kuno mira pamberi pa ani believer was got my Lord. Before they are just. Mm. Before they are just. Believers. So what if my brother deprives me of my asset which I worked hard for. Mm -hmm. Bring back my car. The brother is switched off his phone. Mm -hmm. I have to report a stolen vehicle yes. for the police to recover my car. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this? Yes. 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 Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you. There is a fault among you. Yes. Because you go to law one with another. Yeah. Why do you not rather take wrong? Yes. Why do you not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah. Uh -huh. yeah. wow. wow. Let the car go. Mm. Uh, it's a very heavy matter. <laughs> That's why I had to pray <laughs> to the Lord. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what about my car? Yeah. Be defrauded. Hey. Let it go. What about my house? Be, be defrauded. defrauded. Let him get the car, leave mm. it. Mm. Let him get the house, leave it. Machines go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is heavy. So, then the question we must ask is, if my house, which I labored for, mm -hmm. is swindled by a brother, mm -hmm. I have no other money. Mm -hmm. to buy another house. Mm -hmm. This is the only house I bought mm -hmm. to give my family some decent shelter. Mm -hmm. This brother connives with the deeds office to doctor the title deeds. Mm -hmm. And this brother is now claiming that this house is his. Yes. Can I not go to court, Akuman? Akumanaka. Vasikanaka. Vasikana kushanda kuno rwadza vasikana. Vasikana marino rwadza. Mungango taura zhenyu ni kutima msati matsotskwa. The question is, why is it so serious that the apostle is saying it's better to lose your money than to go to court? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. the question is, do you really believe that you are going to heaven? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you really believe that if you take your flight today, there is a place for you in God? Mm. Yeah. It seems like we are so excited about our vision mm -hmm. oh, of faith. Yes. We don't care. Mm -hmm about the true standard of faith. Of faith. Mm -hmm. Because these things are not taught in churches. No. Otherwise, the AFM uh, battle could not have ended up in court. In court. Yeah. Yes. It shouldn't. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. So, Apostle Chuenga, Apostle Chuenga, if one day Pastor Baloy connives with the Pastor Erengui to write a dismissal letter, Yes. To dismiss Apostle Chuenga <laughs> from Jesus' Revelation Ministries, mm -hmm. the scripture does not allow me to take Pastor Baloy mm -hmm. and Pastor Erengui to court, to court. Mm -hmm. with the documents concerning the origin, the foundation, or the founding of GRM, mm -hmm. so that the High Court may determine 
who is the founder of GRM, <laughs> was the expulsion of Apostle Chwenga mm. in accordance yes. with, with the, the GRM constitution. constitution. According to this scripture, mm -hmm. it is better for me to go quietly mm -hmm. than to fight Pastor Baloy and Pastor Erengui mm -hmm. in the court. In the, court. Mm -hmm. the question is, am I ready to be defrauded? <laughs> uh, but the most important question is, mm -hmm. What will I be protecting? Mm. Ah, right. What can I be expelled from the church with? Mm -hmm. That it is so important mm -hmm. that I would keep it by leaving the church quietly. And I will lose it if I take the others to court. court. Church and no zingwa church in the example. has been found with the uh, uh, abuse of church funds. Mm. Okay. Okay? Mm. Or oh, Apostle Chwenga's life has been uh, analyzed and investigated. Mm. He has been, re he has been uh, realized that he has impregnated some girls in the church mm -hmm. because of his conduct. He is not fit to be an apostle. Mm -hmm. We have expelled him from the church. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> The Bible does not allow me to report those who have beaten me to court. To court. Mm -hmm. For the simple reason that they are saints. Yes. 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 They are just. <laughs> but they are not going to suffer rather to be defrauded. Which means I should wake up from the, stand up from the ground. Mm. I should shake off the dust. Mm -hmm. I should limp to my house or to the clinic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get medical attention. Mm -hmm. I was beaten by my fellow church members. Mm -hmm. They've kicked me out of the church. Mm -hmm. yes. I can't report the matter to the police. Mm -hmm. I can't take this matter to court. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, if I do that, I keep something. <laughs> Even though I am out of the church, I will keep it. <laughs> 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 the moment I go to court, I lose it. Yes. I lose it. Hmm? The question is, what is that? is that? Because going to court is like you're, you're trying to protect your dignity. Mm -hmm. yes. But according to scripture, there is no dignity in that. Yes. There is no dignity in taking another believer, believer. To, to, to the court. Mm -hmm. 